Hey guys, Dan here from eHix411. Today in front of me, I have a Jeep Renegade body control module. They call them BSI sometimes. And in this video, I will show you how the clone service is done. Now, this is a flooded car. So this is original bad unit. I already read this one, so we're not wasting a lot of time. So I'm just showing how to solder and connect to it and the list goes on. So I read this guy right here already. So I will show you how we transfer the VIN, the keys, the coding information, which is all the options the car has into a used donor. So this is a Jeep Renegade. Fiat is the same uh, Chrysler Dodge. So some of them do have similar BCM. Um, using the Multiprobe by X-Horse, I tried to do it with AVD, Abritas, or Autel doesn't even have an option. IO, Terminal doesn't even have an option. So currently, this is the only programmer that I found that does have this option to clone these. So I will get my MCU adapter. I will go to my laptop and I will follow these instructions on how to connect to it. Oops, let me zoom in. And we are just going to follow the same instructions as we see on my laptop. So we're going to put the ground to ground, which is right here. I already got my pinouts, added a little solder. That way I know where it is already. Saves time. All right. Here's that. The second one is... Let's see, it's VCC, so we'll add the VCC, let me get my VCC, all right, this is the VCC, so power and ground, okay, now we're just going to go to brown, And then the next one is orange. So I already added flux and solder that way it makes it really quick while doing a video. Melts it really nicely in there. Now while I'm soldering, if you do need this service done on your Jeep or Fiat, whatever the vehicle you have, we can do that. Just go to description below and there will be a link to Carmen Auto. That's Carmen with a K. And we can do that for you. Or at the end of the video, I will have the link also provided in there. Now, if you do have a multi-probe, this is pretty much how you're going to connect to it. Now I'm going to set it up or connect it to my multi-probe. Make sure nothing's showing out. My connections are good. So double check your connections. Since everything's good, I'll go back to my laptop. I will not need this pinout anymore. I already have my immobilizer Jeep Renegade BCM 2017. This is the R7F70134 processor. So now that I have it all connected, let's just read the D flash. This is a faster one to read. Make sure we just have a good connection. If you can see over here, this icon turning and it's saying power communication chip turn on, writing chip configuration. Attempted to set crystal and let's see if it reads it. And as you can see, it does have a password. So these are secure. So if you have a programmer that reads it but can't unlock it, you're out of luck. That's why I literally have to use this programmer. Now, it unlocked it and read the D flash. As you can see, all the data is here for the D flash. I will go to save file. And in front, I will put Renegade, actually in the middle, right? Renegade BCM, this is a new one. So I'll just save it as new. Then I will also read the C data, C flash data. I always like to read all the data 
possible in case something goes wrong. So while setting it up, and this one takes longer to read since it's a bigger one, but we'll still read it. And then of course we will write the D flash and C flash. A lot of times you don't need to write the C flash. Some cars you do. So in this case, I'll just write them both. And let's see, while it's writing, I will zoom through this. That way we're not spending more time. As I said, it's going to be a quick video, so we're going to try to do it quick. Actually, while it's reading, let me pull up my hex compare. And we're just gonna compare the files. So I got Renegade, BCM new D flash, and then we'll compare with Renegade. Renegade. Come on, Renegade. R E. And we got the D flash, original D flash. Boom. Now, if you can see the original D flash. has some writing on top it's totally different and we'll find the VIN number so if you can see this is right here the part number and right below it this is the VIN number of original car now the donor donor is in different location you can see this is the donor VIN number. So we'll just clone all of it, the C and the D, and hopefully the checksum is all good. So 95%. Okay, now this is the C flash. It's ending the process, so I did read it 100%. pretty quick read for this program right if you can see two minutes 22 seconds for a flash this big it's a good read fast read it's a total of three minutes all right I will save this as renegade and we'll click it new and then I'll go to D flash I will load up my D flash so it's a renegade this is original D flash and I will hit right not hit right I will hit OK and then I will hit right so once I loaded it it's gonna set up my programmer to write this file It's 100% right. Now we're going to do the C flash. So I'll click C flash and I will load the C flash. So this is a Renegade original C flash. I'll click open and I will click. All right, now that it's almost done, 96%. So this one does take a while to write, but now that we're almost done. We're just gonna pretty much, once it's written, we're just gonna unsolder those pinouts, clean it, and the BCM clone is done. So now, like I said, if you do need the service done of reading, VIN number, keys, options, and transferring to the donor BCM, we can do that. Even though this is a lock processor, we are able to do that on these BCM. So now that it's ending the process, it's almost done. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.